This is going to get ugly, Shepard. Nothing good ever came out of Reaper Tech. This has to be a command center. No power, though. Look around for a switch. Power switch. There. What's happening? Those are the refugees. They're just killing them? Worse. They're being turned into husks. Why go through all this just to make husks? What does the elusive man gain? The Reapers attacked because this place was a threat. We need to find out why. Shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. It should keep them out of the entrance as well. Kai Lang. She won't know he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move!
Pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The Reaper's use of dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. It's hard to imagine what this place was like at full operation. Dr. Nuri's legacy work with subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to break down the will was inspired, but proved unreliable for general application. We've proven that adrenaline, and its cross-species equivalents, is most effective and efficient. Terminal's damaged. Hang on. Reapers wanted this place shut down. Maybe we'll find out why. It doesn't make sense. Thought Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? There it is. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? <sighs> Draw them in and throw them in a meat grinder. Note that she mentioned shipping indoctrinated refugees to the elusive man. We can use that to find him. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower.
Getting these husk creatures was our first success. While not true husks, they still respond to Reaper signals. More work ahead, but we are moving forward. We're very close. Understanding the indoctrination process is one thing, however turning it to our advantage is proving to be quite another. This is assembly line science. The sheer brute force of numbers and repetition is doing the thinking for us. Effective, but discovery happens at a pace. Father is working for the elusive man. the tower. If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. To exert control over Reaper forces. Amazing. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. 